Also, Bernanke just left the White House. There's going to be a bailout. Well, they had to. Right? I mean, paper markets would have they collapsed. They knew. Cash would have stopped coming out of ATMs. They had to backstop this. They knew the taxpayers would bail them out. They weren't being stupid. They just didn't care. Yeah, because they're fucking crooks. But at least we're, we're going to see some of them go to jail. Right? I mean, they're going to have to break up the banks. I don't know. I don't know. I have a feeling that in a few years, people are going to be doing what they always do when the economy tanks. They will be blaming immigrants and poor people. But Mark was wrong. In the years that followed, hundreds of bankers and rating agencies executives went to jail. The SEC was completely overhauled, and Congress had no choice but to break up the big banks and regulate the mortgage and derivatives industries. Just kidding. Banks took the money the American people gave them, and they used it to pay themselves huge bonuses and lobby the Congress to kill big reform. And then they blamed immigrants and poor people, and this time even teachers. And when all was said and done, only one single banker went to jail. This poor schmuck, Kareem Sarah Geldin from Credit Suisse. He hit a few billion in mortgage bond losses, something most of the big banks did on a good day during the crisis. 